Hello guys! Welcome back this week to another episode of the Smite Community Art Show! I'm Kyrez Kayla, and over here we have Lumpy Space Princess. But what are you? Kyrez Enna. I don't know, what am I? Fiona! Fiona, yay! <laughs> we decided to dress up for you this week since it's the Halloween special, and you guys submitted us some awesome Halloween fan art, and we're going to be going through that in a bit, but... Anna, would you like to maybe explain kind nope. of, please, like, what what happened? Of course, of course. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Hi Rosanna, as she said. Welcome to the art show. Uh, I am Lumpy Space Princess from Adventure Time. That's what we went with. We went with an Adventure Time theme because that was, like, the easiest thing we could do last minute. I already had a wig and a star drawing on my forehead, so I was like, let's just do it. Um, I'm just trying to think of, like, what's blonde. Well, yeah. well, yeah, so yeah. it worked out. Well, welcome, everyone. <laughs> Let me give you a quick recap on what we did last week. Not too many challenges, because, again, we're still doing the pumpkin carving contest. We've had so many great submissions from you guys, and you will see them this show, because tomorrow's Halloween, so... Yes! Yeah, so... We yay! also have a couple of the t-shirt contest things to Also, yeah, we did. To, uh, we we want to tell you guys that we also um, introduced the, uh, or announced the t-shirt design contest. And what does the winner of the t-shirt contest get? Right there, get? it's right there, oh my god! What does it get? What does it get? There's no limits, it's due by... October. We it's actually due by tomorrow. Five million gems. Yeah. So get it. Try and get them in tonight by like midnight. Um, and your shirt is going to be sold at the World Championship, five, and you guys also million. get a copy of the shirt. That, that's like so cool. Yeah. To be able to see your shirt. Like, also a lock of Kelly's hair. Oh yeah, yeah. That's official. It's and I think sad. you offered something too. Um. To, yeah. Yeah. A butt touch. Yeah. A hearty butt touch from yours truly. So if you choose the ticket <laughs> and I see you at World Champions Chips. World Ch Championships. <laughs> Championships. Um, <laughs> I will be touching your butt. Just yes. Hope, hope you bring your parents because I'll touch their butt. I'm putting too. some questions. I've kind of been putting in the link, you know, here before we started this show. So we can kind of go over like a couple questions. We have so much art to go through though because we have like the contest entries. Yep. And on top of that, we yep. have some of the normal entries and yep. stuff like that. I got to so. get in character. I got to get like super. Yeah, you got to get like super mm. lumpified. I hate the world. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Great. Let's see. We have so many submissions, guys, so we will not be drawing this show, unfortunately. We will just be answering some questions yep. until it's time for community art, and then uh, we're going to go through them. Do we? And that's going to be fun. Do we know any or good whatever. free art programs? Well, I mentioned previously on a show a long time ago, yep. uh, Fire Opaca is a free program that you can go and mess around with. Um, also, if you want to download Sketchbook Pro, like that's... Oh, yeah, that's a new thing. Yeah, that's relatively... It's not free... But I think they have a trial version that you can check out and stuff. Oh, can I see my star? And I love your costume so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what else we have. Ba, ba, ba. Is Gavin Princess Bubblegum? <laughs> he is every day. Yeah, he is every freaking day. Every day. <laughs> every, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's KP. Yeah, I'm lumpy. So lumpy. I actually have a pink tutu if you guys can see it. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, bring the this guy up here. Point. There you go. <laughs> Actually makes me lumpier, so it's perfect. You're so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> I really like being attractive. I, so you guys know, <laughs> I enjoy being very attractive. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, so that's fun. Got any cool questions? <laughs> oh my glob! Look at those luscious lips. <laughs> Whatever, man. I can't. I can't do her voice because it's voiced by a man. And I don't have a man voice. I have a little boy voice, but I can't do a man voice. So I have a pretty deep voice. Oh my god! Like I can do that. Oh <laughs> That's like the closest I can do. <laughs> you just like me for my lamps. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my lovely lady lamps. Ugh. All right. So weird to say. All right, guys. Uh, Why do you guys look so cool? <sighs> it's just it's born this way. Like it just happens. It's just it happens. Yes. <laughs> it happens. It happens. All right. Boop, 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 what else? What boop, else? What else? Let's what do else, this. Else? I know. I'm trying to. You guys got to answer, ask some questions Let's do here. this. Let's do boop, this. Boop, 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 I'm excited boop. to get to the pumpkin carving segment, to be honest with you. Yeah. We have some really good ones. We have I wish we really had more, but I I guess, like, th I think there were some people that were like, I don't want to carve so a pumpkin. Like, as far as the pumpkin carving contest goes, the winners, you get, there's there's three winners. <gasps> and you get three. either gems. Trace? Trace. You get either gems. What? Or you get a choice of a ticket to the world championship. What? So those are actually like really big. Do you know how many gems they get? A million. And it's, it's not like it's five not million. A, it's not a million. Yeah. No. It's it's on the no. Twitter. <laughs> it's not a million gems at all. Uh, all right. 
what else? What else we got? What Questions. else we got? Um, oh my god, this is the longest. honestly. We really want to know your feedback on the art show. So if yeah. you guys can like hit us up on give us Twitter. Some feedback Twitter. Go Smite Art Show. Is it at Smite Art Show? Yeah, Smite yeah. Art Show. Smite Art Show. Follow us on Twitter and send us your feedback. You can also tweet at us your pictures, like work in progresses and stuff tweet like that, before us. you submit it to us, and we'll give you feedback on that, which oh, is yeah. awesome. Ba, 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 ba. Oh yeah. Oh wait. So what I want to do, 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 do? Some of these questions, guys. The reason I'm not answering because I don't, I don't know the answers to them. So if you're asking a question, it make might be up. beyond my scope. Make it up. Just make it up. What's your opinion what on the, the new time. goddess Nox, Anna? Absolute silence. <laughs> That's my opinion. No, no, no. I love Knox, actually. Um, I, I posted a little drawing of her mm -hmm. on Twitter and my Instagram and Facebook, and I absolutely adore her. I think her style is so unique. Usually we, we get goddesses oh, yeah. that are very likey. Um, the last, I think, one of the goddesses that, She's well, we really have Chang'e and we have mm -hmm. Athena who wear the long dresses. I'm trying to so think if there's, there's any other that's like that. It's Yeah, it's, it's Chang'e. I mean, Stella has a dress. But I'm talking like body yeah. like nice and yeah. curvaceous and lumpy i haven't played her yet though so i don't oh, know how true. i don't know how her kit i plays. just like her design as someone who, who oh, yeah, got to draw her for gorgeous. the lore and everything i really enjoyed drawing her she was really fun um <laughs> complex in all the right areas she oh, had oh, oh, big oh, oh. personality personality indeed. like all of our goddesses do Huge personalities. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're, I think it's time to move into. I think, honestly, like, I really want to get to the art because we have so much yeah. to go through and I don't want to, like, have to, like, rush through it all. Yeah, yeah. So, let's go. October 30th, the day before Halloween, community farts. What? Ah! Blah, 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 blah. All right, guys. Blah, 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 blah. This first one so is by gun. Adam Matthews. <laughs> blah, blah. Sorry, I got really excited. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, this, this one's by Adam Matthews, and it's just uh, for the t-shirt design Yeah, contest. it totally is. It's I really like this one. I think That'd be it's a really badass uh, uh, design. Yeah, and chat, we want to know your feels on all these pieces of art. Yes. So please, feel Give free. us all your feels. And if you want to submit art to the art show, there's a link below chat exactly. that you can click. Just just do it. Just just every Wednesday by midnight our time. Just, just do it. Just submit it. This next one is by Alec McPhillips, and it is a really sweet little comic. I just love it. I love it so much. Okay, the first one is with... Um, Kukulkan, 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 yeah, and Hun Butts and Sun Wukong. El Kwong, we need you over in left lane. Look, buddy, the name is Kukulkan. So wait, you're just a complete copy of him with, uh, with a different name? That's hilarious. Yeah, real hilarious. That's funny. I get it. <laughs> Do you get it? I, oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> the next one is by Alexander Tryhard. And this one, um, I think he was actually inspired by our own Ben Kime's mom, Lori Kime, who yes. painted uh, some of the gods as birds. She's going to be doing that for us. I think he was inspired and did his own. He did Bacchus as a cute little uh, canary. And I'm wondering if those bird seeds get him drunk. Oh, for sure. Like, they're, they're like, in they're, the wine they're, thing. They're, they're fermented yeah. seeds. <laughs> they're, they're probably, uh, what, what was it? B barley? Is that what you barley? used to make? Like, is that wheat? Like the that's wheat that's what you made. Yeah, that's what you I used don't to drink make beer, it. Guys, so but uh, this is very cute. Good job. Ah, this one moves. I don't know if you guys can see it move on the screen, but like Aww. this is like all animated, like pixel yeah. art animated, and it so looks so good. So imagine the wings flapping and the tail moving back and forth. It's mm -hmm. just so really just very well done. It doesn't really matter that it's not moving. Just the detail alone is really impressive. We love pixel art, guys, as Indeed. you guys know. And I love the colors. Yeah. And Alex So is a beast. He actually gave us for um, a like legit our, beast. Yeah, he gave us like a legit, legit world beast. champions or launch tournament one yeah. when we did that. He did like <laughs> an actual graphic for us. This next one is by Alicia Hartman. And it is Nuwa. I like how she's looking not right at the camera. Like, like she's it. looking off into the distance. I like it that it's, like, realistic. Yeah. Like, she's got a big nose, and she's just normal looking. I don't know, like, really realistic looking. Yeah. No, like, big eyes or anything she like that. She looks casual. Yeah, she's cash as hell. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Very cute. Uh, this one is by Amanda Kalesin. And it's for the t-shirt design contest. Who's the next god? And then you flip it over your head, and it's Finry. This has been a long-time joke within the Smite community since I've been at high res for yeah. a long time. Yep. Yeah. Fawn Roar. Fawn so Roar. that's actually really cute and very funny. I will yeah, always though. answer Thank that you. as the next god. Who's the next so god? So don't even bother Fawn asking Roar. me. <laughs> Thanks very much. So good job, Amanda. We love it. Uh, this next one is by Arjun Co. And it is the... <laughs> 
The Powerpuff Boys. It's yes, it was, ins- yeah, it was inspired, I think, by another artist that did the Powerpuff Girls yeah. or something. I'm, that's what I want to say it is. But So we got Apollo, we got Blacka, we got Mercury. And you know so, what? Like, I, I think that works for their personality types, too. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever looked at Bakasura and been like, oh, my God, he's so cute. <laughs> he's adorable. He's adorable. <laughs> it's adorable, actually. Very cute. Thank you so much, Arjun Co. And nice use of the graph paper. You guys know we love graph paper. Yep, yep, yep. This next one is by Ada Girrett, and it is the Jade Bunny, Chong Uz Jade Bunny, zooming around the cosmos, as he does. Right? Isn't that customary yep, super for rabbits? Speeds. Bringing you back items. Yeah, they do oh. that. But uh, good job, Ada Garrett. Good, um, good use of the those sparklies. They're the just sparkles. all over the place. Much and glitter. I like your planets too. Much glitter, very sparkle. Yep. This <laughs> one's again by Ada Garrett, and she's actually uh, really awesome because she's doing not gods. She's doing what accompanies the gods. So yep. the Jade Rabbit, and then um, Nox's chandelier, or or not chandelier. I don't. I don't know what you would call, oh my call God. it. Like a cadaver? No. Candelabra. Candelabra, that's yeah. it. I was going to say cadabra. Candela- <laughs> cadabra. <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> is it abracadabra? Yeah. Um, this next one is by Bastian F. Engo, and it's Kronos Sith. Hey, at least I tried. The handle was the worst. Did it turn out okay? The question, or the answer to that question is yes, it yes. turned out excellent. It did. Honestly, Thanatos' scythe is super intricate to draw. There's a lot of... A lot, a lot, a lot to draw on that. So there's lots of details, and you did a good job. Like, you did a good job. Your your trying paid off. I like it because <laughs> it's very cute and short. Oh, this name. Oh my God! All right, why do you do this to me? <laughs> Keep your head off your keyboard, guys. Uh, this is by Bibis Strosel, Crocklejanin, Krogo Best Duget. Sounds like a candy bar. Shazam! And this is yeah. This is hilarious because it's um, Bakasura. Shazam! Is it Bakasura? Is it, is it's it's is Bakasura, but he's sure? got a lightning bolt, which is funny because lightning bolts are synonymous with Smite because we're they're on our logo and Zeus, and so yeah, like good job, good job, BB Croc, GG man, GG. Good job. This next one is, is by I love this name. I think this name is so badass. Right. Casper Dolaris. I like the name Casper. It's so great. I like Casper. You don't hear Dolaris the name Casper altogether. very often. Yeah. If you're as cute as the human representation of Casper from that movie, holla at your girl. Uh, <laughs> and this is Pool Sidon and mm-hmm. Shaolin Monkey Sun Wukong. Very both, cute. Both very fun skins. Yeah. I like it when you guys draw the skins. I do. I mean, I like the normal ones too. But the this one also by Casper Dolores, and it is a skin. Yes. Our, uh, our, what's it called? Oh, my God. Oh, Osiris. Mm-hmm. Osiris Frankenstein skin. The Frankenstein one. It's beautiful. Casper, great job. Great name. Great. Great submission. Thanks for keeping it spooky. Yeah, thank you. Uh, This next one is by Chris Jolet and is Isis. 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 It's just a nice little profile picture. Yeah. And you get a good job. Real cute. I like it. I like the little uh, cat face that you got there. Um, same by Chris Jolet. <laughs> Kawaii. Is Scylla. Kawaii. And he, he <laughs> Sorry, gave I her. I do that like every time I see the word Kawaii. Like, Kawaii. Even if you guys can't see me, it's totally yep. throwing up the peace signs. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Kawaii. Very cute. Thank you so much, Chris Jolet, for these two. We love to see traditional pieces. This one is by Christian Rodriguez. Trick or treat. And it's Cupid and Scylla being adorable for Halloween. See? Kawaii. Kawaii. <laughs> Oh, God, Kawaii. Yeah, we had to show this one. I can't remember if we showed it last week or not, but we're going to show it again because it's Halloween and it's a spirit. And that, yeah. And that's how we do it. Why not? Why not? That I little ghost remember is the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, he's got Gavin face. Uh, this one is by Christian Rodriguez again, and uh, it's Scylla, like yeah, school but Scylla. It's like pixel art style. It's like solid. I like it because it's big. It's big pixel art. Yeah. Like, he actually has enough... Uh, size like the size dimension is just big enough that it still has that pixely look to it yeah. but the details are more clear i love the gradient you know? in the skirt and in her eyes yeah so very cool real cute christian, christian. rodriguez you go girl or boy person uh this one is amir by christian laguado and i think this is ms paint i'm gonna call it that, that is exactly what it is yeah this is great i like it it's so cute this is, this is he, yeah. He, we love MS Paint too. We're so impressed yeah. by it, by everything you guys do. <laughs> uh, this one is by David Wall, 
and it is Freya's sword. Everybody loves drawing or modeling Freya's Thank sword. You guys. It's such a good sword. It is a great sword. It's a fantastic sword. It's very well designed. It's a dynamic sword. It is. And yes. this is in 3D, so you can see some of yep. the, like the it. stone textures and the grass textures. So good job. I like seeing 3D work. I we like would love you for guys you. do more than just like traditional and stuff. Yeah. Love for you to like add some more stuff to it, even if you if you ever get a chance. Mm -hmm. This one's by Derek Moody, and it's Sir Ket. It's a nice, simple Sir Ket. It's almost reminiscent of Ian Empson's um, drawings that he's yeah, been doing. Yeah, the minimalistic where style. Where it's like no eyes whatsoever. It's just very flat, basic colors, one on top of the other. Uh, no shading or anything like that, I like so how I like it. Yeah, I like how you put the, the face right in the middle of her name. Breaks <clears> it up. <throat> yep. Makes it very graphic-y. Love it. Thanks, Derek. Ooh. Good job, Derek Moody. Give me here. Oh, God. Dragon Crup. That's what I'm giving you. Dragon. It's so weird. I know how to spell this name backwards and forwards. But we don't know how to it. say it. We Jackal we Jub Kriblagenin. We don't uh, know and this is a pix Pixel Amir. Has, I don't think he's ever done pixely stuff for us, has he? I I cannot recall. Well, either way, I love it because there's a bit of perspective to him. He's not just flat facing. There's a bit of a of an angle to him because his his uh, shoulder is like a lot lower than the mm -hmm. other one. So yeah, it's, it's, yeah, like it's a almost good like a nice symmetric view. Yeah, like a little it's bit nice. Of love. And he had the little little chains hanging off of his. Yeah, you maze. see this, Kelly? This is this is for you. This is for you. Here. And if it wasn't, it is now. Well, yeah, deal with <laughs> it. Um, this one is by Dustin Anderson, and it's Dark Seduction Aphrodite. Ooh, what's up, girl? Look at that. Oh, look doing? at that lace. That spooky, spooky lace. Oh my god, likes for days. I like that you changed your hair color to like a raven, raven red. It's like a blood red. Yeah, like blood red. I don't know why I said raven. Raven. I think you're thinking like the the dark. Just black, thinking like overall like Halloween things. Ravens yeah. come to mind. But I like the, I like the angles in the hat a lot. Mm -hmm. How Very it, cute. Like, it's all like. I don't know <laughs> what's that word. I can't think of the word. I'm trying it's to think so of. I like it. We'll just say it's cute. <laughs> uh, these two pieces are by Ericus, and uh, that one is not. Kronos, if you would think. It's actually Loki. Loki. And then on the other side is Nox. Yeah. And these are dark. So dark. They're very, very dark. But the moodiness of it, it's just, it's it sets the mood. Just the way it's colored and everything and how you can't really see anything with the Nox. The only thing that's really shown is a little bit of her helmet and feathers and obviously the candelabra. Yeah, kind of uh, like her, her candles just being lit up. Yeah. It's a very dark picture, but you can see who it is clearly. I, yeah, clearly. I like I like the idea and thought process behind him. Yeah, indeed. And also the Loki, the fact that it's set to a sapia tone almost. Mm -hmm. I love that too. Monochromatic is it just sets a moodier tone, honestly, to drawings. Unless you do like monochromatic hot pink or something. That's it's actually it's like, a good practice whoop, whoop, whoop. too. If only we have to worry about one value. Of color. Yeah, exactly. You just have to worry about um, different shades. This next one is by Frederick Westerlund, and, and it is Janus. It is Janus. Janus. Without all of his contraptions, just pretty much yeah, humanist yep. form. Exactly, and I, I'm creepy. I'm creeped out. You're creeped out. Yeah. I like it because it's got sort of a 3D animated look to it. If yeah. you look at it, uh, just the, the it's way not it like is. It's not a bad creeped out though. It's just like a. Yeah, it's just like creeped out. Yeah. I it's don't know why. it's scary. This is again another example why monochromatic just sets the tone. Yes. So perfectly. And then we have. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> Your name is fantastic. This is Aphrodite, and she is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely. And, and I, I'm fabulous. guessing that's Apollo just I'm, around. Yeah, I'm digging the Apollo just creeping in the side, being like, hey, girl, what's your name? Hey, girl, hey. hey. <laughs> uh, and that's what I imagine they, they sound like. All right, guys, Ian Emson's honestly just my favorite with this type of awesome vector art. Yep. He's so good. This one's probably my favorite one. It is so big. Next, next to the Shanga, like, th like this one's yeah. my favorite one. Like you just added so much more detail and mm -hmm. and depth to it. And so big being a, a character that has a lot of detail, you manage to just do it perfectly, but maintain the simplicity of your style. Yeah. You did a good job. This one's my favorite, unless you make an Anubis. Then that one will be my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I want to see a Scylla. Oh, yeah, do a Scylla. Yeah. This next one is by Igor Drakichevic. I like that name. Igor. And this is Aphrodite. Chilling. It is. Yep. At a Halloween party. Everybody else is kind of like dark. Is that a chilling. lollipop staff? Looks like a bow. Oh, there's bows everywhere. So I guess it might be like a little nod of the bow. <laughs> I feel like it's like a Snow White dress up. Or yeah. Something like that. Like that sort of like fantasy thing. It could thing. be. Or Mama Sita came by and was like, girl, your outfit is stupid. Let me put some <laughs> bows on it. Because that's how little Mama Sita talks. <laughs> At least exactly. today. And I like the little She's schools in the background. Very cute. Well mm -hmm. done. This one is by Jelk, Jelk Hinks. And this is Aries's, Aries' helmet. 
the chains of war. So dramatic. Dun, I dun, love dun. this one. It takes up an entire piece of paper. That's a yep. lot of black you must have used for the inside of the helmet. The shading is just on point. Y even though you can see the brush strokes and everything, it still works really well. So. Yeah, like I think I kind of know what you did too. I think you scanned it in. And then, then you took it in oh, yeah, and, like, and paint bucket the black in it to possibly. really make it stand out. And that really helped a lot. Yeah, like, absolutely. Sometimes, you know, your scanner or your picture phone does. It's okay to do that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Or I could be completely wrong and I'm just blabbering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, either <laughs> way, love Either the way, detail. we like it. <laughs> I really like the little skulls and everything. Really well done. This next one is by Jolton Maya. My, Maya, right? And it's Uller, just a nice, simple, traditional pencil sketch of Uller, taken from his card, possibly, from that pose, but... Love yeah, it. he detail. looks he looks so scruffy in this. Little scruff McGee, which is just that's just his personality. So. Scruff McGuff. I really the feel like you on that yeah. upper lip. You captured Uller. Yeah, indeed. good job. Like it. Good detail. Way to go. Way to go. This next one is by Joey Zhao. Zhao, possibly. It's right. Police Aries. This is a really cute skin concept. And I don't I know what that wording is it might be i don't know either i don't know is it, it russian I, it looks like it might be russian or icelandic I guys i can't speak or russian. or i don't know <laughs> some sort of i don't know anyways i don't want to go up against them yeah it's really cute though johan olison gave us a pixel circuit running forward this is actually really cool yeah it's got a lot uh, of movement in it yeah it's like a nice motion um and he gave us actual size and then the resize so we can see the actual details to it Pixel art is becoming quite popular. Hell yeah, it is. I'm glad, too. Pixel art's great. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. Thank you very much, Johan. Do some oh, more. Correction. That was ancient Greek. Oh. On Aries, he's saying. My God. bad. God, Whoop. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Um, this next one is by Joseph Miners, and it's Chablankchek, <laughs> as I like to call him. <laughs> Chablanke. Love me, Chad. I'm so sorry. Ooh, love me, Chad. <laughs> um... <laughs> Guys, calm down. I said it. I'm sorry. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's very cute. Very good. Chablanke. Which is one of your favorite gods, huh? He is. He is actually one of my favorites. I adore him. This next one is Gorgeous by Josh Basterish. Look and it's those Aphrodite. Eyes. Those eyes have so I much know. detail in them. It's great. Yeah, just the shading, really. It's so impressive when you guys just use a pencil for a drawing. Mm -hmm. And you still manage to put so much depth into the drawing. Like, the shading is on point, even on the thighs, on the eyes, especially her hair, the hair. Too, you got the strands. Yeah, it's great. And the movement of this is really awesome, too. Good job. We Good job, Josh. Josh. Good job. This one was actually tweeted at us, um, and I think we gave some all right advice. You did, or, or I, I know I did. I think, yeah, I think it just had yeah. kind of like a flat background. I was like, yeah. maybe just, if you don't want to add like a full background, maybe just do a little bit of a gradient back there. Yeah. Kind of give it some. So this one's by Joshua Saigun. He Saigun. looks mad. And it's, yeah, it's it's Amuzenkab pissed about something. He's and even if you want to, like, go back and edit it, maybe, like, add some bees or something in the background because he's so pissed he's about to, like, sick a flock of bees on him or, or whatever. A yeah. Buzz of bees, whatever they're called. I don't, I don't like Swarm. vegans. Him. Yeah, Amuzenkab. Yeah, no. no. Uh, this next one is by, uh, whoops. Hold on a second. It's by Kay. I think. Hold on a second. We it can't. Is we can't see. Cause it's by K. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's happening? I don't know. Production. Well, work. it's by someone, and it looks great. <sighs> you know who you are, and I'm sorry that this is messed up. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But we I got an edit. awesome traditional uh, picture, and you put the tools right next to it, which we've seen people do, and we really like seeing what you guys use, because otherwise we're just guessing at it. Yeah. And stuff. But I got Hercules in there. Gavin mm -hmm. ruined it. We don't know who you are, Kay. Yeah, it's Gavin's fault. I mean, but tweet, you did tweet your rage job. at him. This one's really cute because it's tough and spite. This one's by Kevin Williams. I think it might have been Kevin. No, it wasn't. Okay. No. This one's by Kevin Williams, and he is doing a series of The Gavin. I, I'm wondering if he has, like, a script of this. He like, might. Of it's just a lot of Gavin love coming off of this guy. Like, I don't understand it. Gavin's the worst. <laughs> My God, he's <laughs> Somebody terrible. Somebody has to love him. Yeah, someone has someone to. Someone out there. But uh, this is really cute. It's uh, it's all Halloween themed gods and Gavin just chilling, with with a bunch of them. Yep. Living aren't that you, swag life. Aren't you special, Gavin? He's very special. But very well done. Always taking over the entire page, which we are always impressed by. And this one is the Gavin, coming of high res Kayla. I, d I don't know the story behind this, but I very much want to know the story of this. <laughs> it's Kayla, walking yeah. away, holding. Holding what? Holding what? Gavin. 
on the floor. And I think Dragging me. him like like I've defeated him. Possibly. And then you got Sly in the Yeah, there's the Sly's in there. <laughs> Sun Wukong skin. Just please a lot can you going can you send me your storyline? Like yeah. just tweet it at me, send please. Send us the storyline, please. <laughs> this next one is by Kyle Kunz. And it's Nox. I'm the one who loves. Because she loves one. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Very well done. Kyle Kunz always killing it with the pixel art. This one's by Kyle Ward. And it is his interpretation of Thanatos. That's what he said in the description. And we like it a lot. Yeah, I so see you changed it the wings and yeah. stuff. So yeah, you did. Add some cool detail. It's really good, man. I like it. And that's also like a thing that you could consider, guys, in the future. Maybe doing your own interpretation of the Smite Gods. Exactly. Obviously sticking to, you know, what they look like in the game and stuff. But <laughs> this next one is by Lee Chang Mei. It's adorable! It's Thanatos! He's so cute! <laughs> I'll let that slide. Thanatos. <laughs> uh, but looking very adorable. Look how happy he is! Oh, he's, I, I love it because he's like soaring through the sky. He's like, yeah. oh, I can fly! <laughs> Oh, so cute. It's adorable. You really catch us a good expression in him. Only Triss, I will hurt you, sir. Oh. He's talking about like Steve's oh. last picture of, of me and Gavin. It's like, oh, and his hand placement is the best you part. You know, I agree with you. Like that was, no. that was very no. planned out. Um, this five, next Steve. one is by Lee Chang Mei again. And Hypnos, God of Sleep. She did a little concept art for us of a god, Hypnos. Mm-hmm. So and very very Thanatos esque, if you look at it. It's like Chronos and Thanatos mixed. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it's just a lot to. It's very wordy. So obviously, yeah, we won't be able to read it to you. But, but you yeah. can see kind of the idea behind the effects and stuff. Yeah, and she's always been so good at giving us uh, abilities and all their yeah. proper descriptions. This next one is by Luis Felipe Cabral, and it is Guan Yu riding to battle, ride forth, right, <laughs> right, right <laughs> forth, <laughs> tell you. Oh, but I, I like this one a lot. It's really well done. It's traditional on a piece of paper, taking up the entire page. Good mm -hmm. use of the of all the dead space as well. Um, just I think really it's done, it looks like it's done with like watercolor. Yeah, it's very smooth. The green is very smooth. It might be like a marker combination. Yeah, but uh, good job, Louise. Either way, traditional art for the win. win. Yeah. Next, we have <laughs> Parker Winchester gave us <laughs> Nuwa. I'm gonna Aww. talk like for, I'm from Minnesota. Are you right? Is that, <laughs> Please is that do. Anything? Everybody from Minnesota, all the servers go down. Everyone just riots. <laughs> <laughs> we want high res Anna's head. Um, but this one <laughs> is just Nuwa, but it's a very sweet Nuwa. It's just her with a lavender look instead. It's of, a it's an actiony pose too. Yeah. she's like tossing out her gems. It's very simple damage. too. There's no outline really, but nope. you can still see you you get the gist of what's going on. Yeah, exactly. That's when you know an artist is like really talented when they can do something simple like that, but like. You know, you still get the gist of everything. Mm -hmm. Everything doesn't get muddled together. This next oh. one is by Pepician, Pepian Willekens. So sorry to butcher your name. I sorry. adore this one. It's not really a drawing, but it's a pretty excellent You know what? It is festive, and, and I accept the festivity. I love it. I guess, like, they, they tried to turn this in as their pumpkin carving um, submission, and I really wanted it to be one of the submissions because it's so yeah. cute. Geb's like, <laughs> <laughs> It's very <laughs> That is yeah, a really guys. big pumpkin, though, if I think about it. Chat, let's start. Let's go ahead yeah. and start that hashtag, Anna Head or Riot. <laughs> Anna's Head or Riot. Anna's Head or Riot. No. I'm sorry, Minnesota. <laughs> Rasmus Nielsen gave us this really cool one. This was actually, um, somebody else gave us the skin idea for um, Sylvanas. Yeah. And do Sylvanas as Tarzan and um, Grover as uh, the large ape. King Kong. King Kong, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. King Kong. But very cute. Good job, Rasmus. This one's by Raven Hackberry, and he or she, I can't figure out I if think it's, it's a he or she. I think it's a he. He? Well, mm -hmm. he's actually done a series of the Super Mario mushrooms as toads as, uh, as Smite gods. Yeah, we, we, got a really one, we got an Artemis one. Mm -hmm. and what was the other one? The Artemis, Artemis one was really impressive. Yeah. We've gotten like a bunch of them. Yeah. I think we got a Thanatos one too. So this one's a, a Loki. series going on. I love it though because this one's got more detail to it because Loki's uh, signature little snake hat and everything like that. Oh. Got scales and everything. Well done, Raven and the <laughs> Uh This one is by Rise or Rice Cadman. This has to be Casual Freya. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's Casual Freya. For wow, sure. no, look at that. Look at that shirt. The shorts. The headband. It's so cute. Yeah, she's like walking into a door or something. Probably walking into a Yogli Mowgli or something. <laughs> I demand all your yogurt. Uh, this one is by Rika Susushi, and it's Nox. It is Nox. 
I, like I love seeing the new the new God fan art. Yeah. I love it how people get like so excited about it. Immediately we get the new far fan art after patch notes or after it's been revealed. Yeah, literally we'll get fan art like the day of yeah. the release of a god. It's exciting. So. We love to see you guys so uh, so excited about our new gods. Ooh. This one is by Ryan MCN, or Mekin, and it's Spunky Menky t-shirt design contest yep. entry for Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong. I like how that tail reaches to the back of the shirt. Mm -hmm. uses the whole t-shirt. I like it's it too. concept. And I like it that... Uh, they weren't really thinking of uh, coloring Sun Wukong, but doing the rest of the shirt and the color and keeping everything else white. Yeah, make it more bold and graphic. Because yeah. it is such a large design that, like Gavin said, it would crack and everything like that. Yeah. So, but very good design. We love it. The face is really cute. Oh. This one's by Sam Stenning, and it is Clockwork uh, uh, Nausea. S steampunk Nausea. Steampunk. Not yeah. Clockwork. Clockwork. Well, I mean, well, kind yeah, of. I get, get where you're getting that, though. Kind of. <laughs> Just not the same. And thank Jesus. you for drawing a notebook paper, because notebook paper is bomb diggity. Exactly. Did you draw this during class? Get back to class. Don't get back to class. Nah. Well, yeah. You're good. Draw a little you're bit. You're good. This one's by Sarah Rudder, and she gave us a new one. Uh, new one. Her style is so cute, always. It is. It's quite adorable. It's nice to see you do other goddesses, too. And a nice, nice scale. Oh, yeah. I love the scales kinda. on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Good job, Sarah Rudder, as always. Killing it. K killing it. Killing it. Uh, this next one is by Scrib Cake, and it's for the t-shirt design contest. We have the Hindu gods on the left there, mm -hmm. and on the right, we have all the Roman gods. Greeks? Yeah, it's Greek. Greek, Roman. I think it's Roman. But the thing is, though, there's Fenrir, and Fenrir is yeah, not... I think it's like a mix of both of them, because is it? Some, of the, some of the gods are similar to each other. Oh, yeah, Greek kind of, Roman. yeah. A little bit. I don't know. They all no, seem no. Roman, Greek mixed up, but either way... Really cute design. <laughs> this next one is also by Script Cake, and it's the Norse mm -hmm. uh, with the Egyptian. Yes. Very cute. And we love it that you actually gave us different shirts with all the different gods in there. And um, then you and have the got Chinese. the Chinese. And then you have uh, just the ladies, I guess. Those you ladies. Lady shirt. Yeah, you do. You do Isis, Athena, Artemis, Freya, and Scylla biting Freya. That's really cute. <laughs> I like that a lot. So thank you so <laughs> much, Script Cake. It's a really cute design. This one's by Shushthruth Kalutla. 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 This is Halloween skin idea. Ugh, Spooky creepy. witch. It's good, and we also love it, guys, when you give us all the abilities. Like the green uh, flames of doom. Yeah, I actually really like that. That's cute. <laughs> the this green lightning love. bolts that are going to strike down on you. I'm just digging that little skull dude in the Yeah, bottom. like he's super chill. I he's like just him. holding a bow and being like, where'd this come from? <laughs> Who'd I hit with this? <laughs> All right, this one is also a Halloween skin by Tenebris Eber, and it's a Nox Sea Witch skin. I like it a lot. If there's a goddess that would do, make, like, an excellent sea witch, it would be Nox. She's got, mm -hmm. like, that, that same color that, you know, Ursula would have or anything like that, and she's also just got that, that very flowy chill, feel. Yeah. yeah, very flowy as well because of her, her garment and everything like that, so... Yep. Excellent job. Really cool idea. I think, yeah, Eber. I think it's an excellent idea. This one is by Thea the Killer. And we have Nuwa, a little back Nuwa. And I think they did this on their phone. Did they? Yeah. Oh, damn. I think that they tweeted that they were Holla. doing this on their phone. And so, great job on that. Yeah, guys, remember, you can make art anywhere. And, and we really don't discriminate on how you make it. Like, you can do, you know, clay. You can do on your phone. You can do mm -hmm. on your iPad. Um, just as long as it's Smite-related and it's fun. Yep. Please, feel Go free to it. submit it. Don't be afraid. This next one is by Tim Peralt. Oh my goodness. Oh it, my god. It's the Apocalypse Aries. Apocalypse Aries. Yeah. This is horrifying. <laughs> this is this really is cool, I would not want to be like a zombie or this is like, like other This is like Mad Max. Weird creature yeah, type stuff. Like look at look at the engineering on this guy. He has a car door shield and he's got a fuel pack that's attached. So um, that he can like still do his flame tricks. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like, you see the little Smelt hole anything. in between the skull mouth. Yeah. It's, it probably, there's a, probably, like, a flamethrower thing coming out Chainsaw there. Chainsaw sword. Good God. That's horrifying. Yeah. And really <laughs> cool. Thank you, Tim, for that. And then Tim also gave us a Nox drawing. Nox. Very sweet. Like I, I like said, her strong chin. Art. I like it. Very good job. And in pencil and traditional. Good job. <laughs> that's too spooky. Elf Norn, you can't say it's too spooky. This is the Halloween stream. Yeah, get out of here. No, I'm kidding. Come back, please. No, 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 no don't leave. Uh, this <laughs> one is by Tyler Berkeley. Doesn't have a name yet. What? This is Arachne. Arachne skin. Oh, oh like it you, have have you haven't yet. named the skin. I, I see what. Well, well, it's really cool. Well, when you come up with a name, you should let us know. Yeah, please. Yeah. 
It's very, very creepy. I like the creepy hand. Yeah, it's good. And it still maintains the spider format of having yeah, eight legs, version. because if you take into account the arm and the legs. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> this one is by Unusual Pie, and it's Vimana. Early game, he's like, Sup. late game, bow shizzle. Yeah, this is once he gets all, he all his items and everyone. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just, he's just struggling a bit, caring though. Oh my god, he's so cute. I love it. Trust so me, much. guys, I could do this. <laughs> oh, oh, we don't get a lot of Vimana love, especially in his little skin, little bad boy skin. Yeah. So, very cute. This one is by V Green, and it's a nice Scylla. I think it's just flat MS paint. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like all solids in it. It's impressive. There's no shading on it, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, there's no shading out. on it. So, and like, I like how the uh, the dog heads are all like doing something different. Yeah. You know, they're not like all staring at you. Exactly. They're all, they, it's good movement, yes. honestly. And then still just in the back like me. <laughs> this one is by Walt Plateau and it's Chalk's uh, uh, ha axe. axe. Yeah. Axe hammer thing. Hammer. <laughs> yeah. It's, I think it's that. It's yeah, axe. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same motion. But uh, yeah, good job. Walt Aren't Plateau. Aren't things so fun to draw, Walt? They are. They, they they, really I just are. like the little designs on them, the squares and the squigglies. Yeah, all the angles and, yeah. and stuff. Really cool. Very good job, Walt Plateau. Weekly Wiley Wolf! Well, that woke me up. <laughs> this is Bacchus by our darling um, Wiley Wolf. Om nom nom, and he's eating some cookies. Listen, guys, look. Bacchus wants to eat some cookies. His eyebrows drinking. looks like we're like interrupting him. Yeah, he's like, excuse <laughs> me, ladies, I'm eating my cookies. Um, this one is by Zion MM, and it's the scre the green skin for Loki. Like yes. Creepy, creepy skin. This the slime ball skin. Yeah. That's what I call it. <laughs> the slime ball. <laughs> oh, the ecto cooler. <laughs> Loki skin. You slimy, um, slimy snake. <laughs> but this one's really cool and very well done. Thank you, Zion MM double M. <laughs> All right, we've made it, guys, to the pumpkin, pumpkin con contest. Yay! Winners receive 2,100 million gems. Uh, vote to decide who wins the five community choice awards. So, guys, these are the ones we're going to go over for you to decide. You get to vote. Yes. Which ones? You Which do. ones win out of the five? So, oh, fine. first up, we have by Amanda Kalesin. This is Bakasura. Definitely Bakasura. Creepin'. There's no way that this is not Bakasura. Yeah, no, you can see it. It's it's yeah. horrifying. And there is a link in the chat. You guys click that. It. Gavin posted that in for you guys, and oh, yeah. we want you to vote. Vote, so guys. Wanna, we I'm have the straw poll up. right here Let's in see chat. What's going on? Gavin has just put it up. So exactly. So pay attention. The first one is Amanda Callison's Bakasura. Oh my God. Then next, the next one is by Benjamin Bondergard, and it is a delightful Scylla. Um, Scylla? Yeah, it's Scylla. So like. What I like about this is oh. how it looks when it is, oh, like, like, dark. Like, you would look at that, like, in the daytime, you're like, ah. The eyes are peering into but, my soul. But it's, when it's lit up, it looks hella cool. Like, I'm that's, so scared. that's awesome. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it's she's very creepy. going to eat my soul. It's so that creepy. was the second one. That was the Scylla. That's Next the one, one by Brooke Robertson. And this is, this is, I don't. This is Bacchus. Well, this is no. This is from Thanatos's pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a Thanatos one. So uh, it's possibly he, Gavin put Bacchusur, but it's not Bacchusur. Yeah. Idiot. Jeez. Shut up, Gavin. Learn to spell. Uh, very cute, Brooke Robinson. This next one is by David Sessler. And this is you guys probably recognize this from the Jack the Reaper skin. Yep. Thanatos. Jack I mean, the Reaper skin. Chronos, sorry. Yep. Yeah. This next one is by Ducky P, and this is hell, guys. Look how cool it is. Yeah, look at all the detail that was put into that. It's beautiful. Very well done, Ducky P. I love it. Just like the, the opposing sides and everything mm -hmm. like that, and the details in the lighter Hell's side. It looks like a legit sculpture. Yeah. And it looks like Dark Hell in the dark. It's beautiful. It's got such good depth to it. Although it doesn't look that great lit up, not as good, it's still really impressive. Yeah. Good job. This one's by Ericus. Hopefully you guys can see it. Oh, no. What? What? Production. 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 This is a Halloween trick. Oh, guys, you won't see Erica's. Uh, this one is by Genevieve Bushman, and it is one of the Titans. Yep. Titans it's the of Titans of Order. order. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can see them, how they're, they're facing each other and their wings. It's gorgeous. Are, that's a really cool idea. And Very well done. Mm -hmm. So we got that one, guys, by Genevieve Bushman. This next one is by Jerry, and it is Bakasura. It is Bakasura. We got yeah, we did get a few Bakasura ones. Yeah, we got, well, Bakasura is perfect for it because he's yeah, it really horribly is. creepy. But look at all the so teeth cool. in there. Like, you put a lot of detail in the yeah. teeth. 
It's really well done. Thank you so much, Jerry. So that one's Jerry's submission, guys. Yep. The next one we have is by Julius Benjamins. And it is the uh, Nike, right? I either want to say it's that or I want to say it's Isis. Could be Isis, but I mean, it looks to me like the Nike. Yeah. Might just be that. If we're wrong, either way, sorry. Good job. All we know is it looks really cool. Ooh, you guys will like the next one. This one's by Matthias Wentink, and it's Amir. It's just a nice, sweet little Amir silhouette. Mm -hmm. You know exactly who he is once you look at it. Yeah, like you can tell right off the bat. You don't even have to explain it. Very cute. Good job, Matthias Wentink. All right, guys, and we'll go over these again just so you can get an idea. This one's by Patrick and Daniela, and it's just a nice little Smite, Smite logo on a pumpkin. Very strange pumpkin, too, but I like it. It's cute. <laughs> and you guys, in that in that little voting thing, you can pick more than one if you want to. Yeah. Go for it. Pick your favorite ones. Yeah, do top five, guys. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, guys. Next up. All right, guys. These are the top three top choices. Three. And these were picked by me, Anna, and Gavin. Yep. 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 So, so winners get to pass. Get a pass to the Smite World Championship or three 500 jumps. This one is still up. Oh, my God. By Amanda Bowman. Oh this my. one is gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Clapping for you. This is exactly what we wanted. We wanted stuff like this and all the other ones too, but this one obviously deserves top three. Look at it. It's amazing. Yep. But detailed on the detail on the dogs coming in, it's great. It's, oh my god. It's, it's fantastic. Like it, it almost it's like artistic curving. Like, yeah. I don't I don't know how to like explain it. It feels very Norse. Yeah. Not, it's gorgeous. I love the scales, more. too. I love it. Just the way it's carved and everything and the way it illuminates, it's very well done. Mm -hmm. Especially with the uh, the other dogs, just their eyes coming out. This makes me want to carve a pumpkin. Yeah, it makes me want to carve a pumpkin real bad. Yes. Good job, Amanda Bowman. And congratulations. You get your choice. Blah, blah. This next one is by Carlos Lin Litonhua. This is a battle scene. We've this, got two yeah. pumpkins. If you guys can't see it, it might be a little dark. It's two pumpkins. One of them carved on it is the Fenrir skin, the uh, gentleman mm -hmm. skin. And he's actually facing the other pumpkin that's further away. And it's the uh, the devil, the devil uh, Cupid. Halloween Cupid skin. So it's actually got like a really cool thing going and on. And Cupid looks really spooked. Yeah. Like you can see like even like the heart is like broken. Yeah. He's just freaking out right now. And he's got a little wings. lantern, <laughs> a little jack-o'-lantern with him. So this is really impressive and obviously merits top three uh, uh, notoriety. It's yes, really Congratulations, well Carlos. Good job, Carlos. And finally, guys, the final one for top three is by Sven Van de Kamp, and it's the Thanatos. And this, yeah, the Jack the Reaper skin. Jack the Reaper Thanatos skin. You did a really, really good job Looking on that. Looking real good. All right, so we are going to pop back and show off uh, Erica's that didn't get shown earlier. So, oh, yeah. So you guys can see. Where there it? you guys go. So if you guys are still voting in there, um, hers is also up for the community. It's another weird little pumpkin with a little... Yeah. A little thing up top, but this one's it's great special. because it it has like Pantheon. all of the uh, Pantheon mm -hmm. um, uh, sigils on it. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, you got Smite, you got the North. Yeah, you got the Norse over there. The like we're gonna not let that show up. Oh, of course, you gorgeous. put a lot of detail and work into that. So good job on that, Erica. Excellent job, Erica's. All right, guys. So let's see. Voting is still going on. Yep. We can go through them, or well, no, we'll do discussion pieces. Yes. Fine. We God. were, you guys. We have a lot of art to go Yeah, we today. still got. We still got <laughs> quite a bit. We have a lot to catch up on. We made it to discuss. Okay, or not? Go back to to the pumpkins. All right, so there we go. First one is Amanda Callis and Baxura. Next one we'll is. We'll run through them. Benjamin, Benjamin Bogard. Bogard, and that is Silla. Yes. Next, Next one, Brooke Robertson. Brooke Robertson. Ooh, Jack o' Lantern. I think it's Jack. Jack the Reaper skin. Oh, yep. Jack the Reaper. Yep, yep. Yeah. The next, next one is by David Sessler, and it is the same thing. Same thing. Dantos. Woo. There we go. Ducky P killing it with this hell. Yep. Look at that detail, guys. Pumpkin. Look at the detail. That detail, though. No. All right. Next up is Ericus. The Titans of Order. Or, yep. Titans by were. Genevieve Bushman. 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 Yeah. Good job. Yep. Next, next one by one's Jerry. By Jerry. And Ooh. it's Bakazura. Baka, baka, baka. Bakazura. <laughs> next one is by Julius Benjamins, and it is the Nike. That yep. you see in all of the uh, arenas. That's what we're calling it. That's what we're Good job. Yep. Uh, next one is Amir Pumpkin Carving by Matthias Wentink. Yep, yep. Good job. And then we've got the Smite logo by Patrick and Danielle. 
and Dan- another weird Danielle ass looking. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> weird looking puppy. And no. then Erica's the one that and didn't show Erica's. up. Uh, so yeah, guys, those are all of them. Hopefully you guys had a chance to look them over. Uh, yep. So keep voting. We'll do that after discussion pieces, which is right now. Discuss it, discussion pe- pieces. Oh yeah. my god, so discussion discuss. peaches. Dun, 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 dun. This, this one. is Neith. And this is after she has successfully ulted somebody. I like it. I like the it's moodiness intense. of it. This it's one's by Azen Arts. I like her nose a lot. Yeah, I just like her face. She's yeah. got a really cute face. Very big, per- devilish smile. Yeah, I got a lot of personality mm-hmm. in it. I like the texture background. I love how you put the white border around her. It really yeah. made her pop out from the background. Kind of gave it like that comic book feel. I like that too. I love adding a nice little clean border mm-hmm. to my drawings just on the uh, the outside. Looks really she good. Looks Makes it stand adorable. out. I like the way you did the hair too, like the shine on it. Yeah, you give it some curl and some bounce in there. Yeah. And then the shading underneath, like on her eyes and stuff like that, really popped the hair out. It's a like lot. anime Anorized. style, but it is an anime like like super kawaii style anime that they you know, anime does for women. It's mm-hmm. got like a, a mischievous boyish quality to it. Yeah. Very good job. She's a tom girl. Yeah, amazing. Like. This next one. Anna V. And this is Rama. Ram looking like a beast. Oh my I god, I want to take him out to dinner. I really, really love the metal work that you did on his helm. Like I just like him. <laughs> thing. You, you like the blue? I want to take him out for a steak dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this he's, is obviously top pick, guys. He's very colorful like you today. Yeah, let's top it. Yeah. Oh my god, we blue match. And purple goes blue and together. Blue and purple goes right. <laughs> um, <laughs> But this one is obviously top pick, guys. Annie B has always given us such amazing artwork. Just the shading that she does. She's using brushes um, to give some texture to yeah, the Yeah, it's piece. got lots of texture. The face is symmetrical and beautiful. The metallic shine on it, it's just so simple, but it's very yes. well done. Do you guys see how, like, the, the metal helm is, like, reflecting the orange yeah. and stuff? Like, that's what metal does. Also, it, it brings in this environment. It's doesn't, doesn't hurt that he's a tasty beefcake. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Goodness. Good job. You reached that, that good quality of like. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This All is right. kind of why we were laughing hysterically. <laughs> if but, you guys uh, remember the last show, there's a piece. <laughs> there's a piece given to us that was a neath on top of a pumpkin. And there was something that production said that killed us. I will not repeat it. Yeah, we will not repeat um, it. This, but it's this, pretty you don't get it after this. It's okay. Yeah. It's so okay. this is just. <laughs> Artyom Prohotko always kills it with these drawings. He's always so funny. He's got such a great <laughs> sense of humor. So he decided to draw our reactions to the piece. <laughs> that's and exactly what we look like, by the way. Yeah, that's exactly. I mean, my tongue goes through my little mouth stick that I have over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I look like constantly. But um, this is very funny, Artie, and it deserves a top pick because it All cracked right. us up. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> this one is by Galvin Willis, and it is the recent, the most recent skin that we got Shoot for, um, for oh my God. Kumba Carne. Kumba Carne. Kumba Con Carne. Mm-hmm. And it's sleepy time. <laughs> He's so cute with his little teddy bear. He's he featured in Among the Sleep, which is a He's either about movie. to go to sleep or he's just waking up. I, I don't know. know. Right? He's so cute. I, know, I, I don't know about you, but it makes me really sleepy. Uh, it looks I almost like it could be card arty. What? It looks like it could almost be like card artish, just yeah. the way the gradient is, you know? It's got good texture in it. It does. That's very sweet. Very awesome, Glovin. Glovin. Golden. Golvin Willis. I'm sorry. It's your dad, Bruce. I'm sorry. Tell him I loved him. <laughs> loved him and I'm Next getting. up is one of the t shirt design entries we that we've gotten so far. And you guys showed off. We've we've praised Ian Emson's just countless times on the art show because he's given us such great drawings yep. and he actually went and he took all those drawings well some of his favorites i imagine are the ones that are the most popular mm-hmm. and he put them on a shirt i would wear this shirt oh i'd wear it too i would wear the heck out of this shirt <laughs> the heck the heck all of it what do you guys shirt. think in chat you guys like this shirt idea i think it's pretty sweet yeah chat like look i, I think it's awesome it's so simple and sweet yeah and if you guys you guys still have time to get your shirt designs in please get them in within the next 24 hours so exactly that, so that you can possibly have your sh- shirt at the world championship <laughs> <laughs> i talk good <laughs> <laughs> but and, and this guy does not have anything to do with the pumpkin carving contest which ends today the t-shirt design contest will be still going yeah, on until right? tomorrow yeah, yeah until, until tomorrow. tomorrow so that's what i've heard submit it anyways go yeah. go for it good job ian emson's just killing it this one Ooh. i adore this is really this cool one. this is by jordan taylor and he did something very unique he took hell and he did a yin and yang hell 
Yep. And this one's actually reminiscent of a challenge that we gave you guys a while back, where it's you take your favorite god and you put them, or you place them in a completely different uh, opposing pantheon. So I guess you could say he went from Norse to Chinese. Yeah. I don't know if that was his intention, but he did a good job. But we like we like the thought process behind yeah. that. I really love Dark Hell's hands. Like how they're I just like, like the creeping hands. up to her arms. Yeah. I also really just like how they're covered up in a way. Like they're, they're wearing the, the Shaolin monk or not Shaolin monk, though that yeah. traditional, I don't want to like, I don't want to insult anybody, but like that, the garb and stuff, the feet, the, the, the shoes and everything mm-hmm. with the socks that are wrapped up. I love that. I don't want to assume what it is. So, but I like that. I feel like hell does need some meditation to calm her down. Yeah, I know. Seriously. <laughs> she needs to chill out. She shows she, she needs to go meditate, but very, very cool concept. We liked it a lot. Excellent concept. This is spooky. Oh, Julia Potashova, just killing it. I don't know if this was for Halloween or just in general Julia creepiness, but she loves drawing this dynamic of Thanatos and Kronos together. It's the bane of my existence because they are the same person. (laughs) They are. (laughs) That will never change. That will never change. (laughs) But I love it, really, in all seriousness. I love this, even though it's, it's incredibly dark. Um, she just is too talented not to show. Well, it's got some really cool grainy texture in it, too. Yeah, it's super grainy. Which I like. Sometimes you don't like graininess, but like in this, it works because yeah. it really gives it a cool vibe. It looks like it's almost after a battle, after a big battle, and they're just resting, mm-hmm. almost like on the brink of death. Or they, and they're or just they like, die. let's just be friends. Come on, just. Be <laughs> and uh, it looks like it looks like they're just upset that I keep confusing them. Yeah. Like, Anna will never get our names right. <laughs> Good one, Julia. Oh, let's just we like say to this world. Ugh. Excellent job, Julia Potashova. As always, you just kill it with these faces. I love Ooh, the faces that you do. This. this one. Oh, it's a new one. It's so nice. Uh, we actually saw this on, on uh, Twitter floating around. This one's by Kroll Kushi. And it's Chong A uh, melted in it's, with, it, with the, the Jade, Jade Rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a combination between the two. So awesome. Such a cool concept, too. It'd be really cool. Like, I wish all gods had a little animal friend with them. Yeah. Because then I would say that as a challenge, like, mix it all together. But it's got so much detail in it. I really love, like, the, the makeup and the glitter and all the different, like, colors that you pulled into it. I just the like lips. the, the brushes, how it looks yeah. like a, like paint splatter. I, I love that look so much and the combination of the two, just the way you, you did the hair flowing into the ears and everything like that. Yeah, it's a good mix. I like it. Very cute and very unique. Let's get a Tusky Artemis one going next time. <laughs> that, be that would be weird. interesting indeed. Yeah, it will. That would be kind of scary. This one is a top pick by Li Cheng Mei, and it's actually the uh, angelic Thanatos skin. Yeah, yeah. Or I think it's just their the their concept of it. Oh, yeah, their concept of it. Which I think is awesome. It is very cool. Look you you that. just put detail up the wazoo with this one. It's insane. I think you've done this before where you've uh, submitted his, a piece that has His, just, like, like scythe, forever. like, reminds me of something from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, a little bit. His Good. scythe is more chill and more laid back mm-hmm. than his usual one. Um, and the wings are gorgeous. Oh, it's Glow, absolutely gorgeous. Glowing, golden, overflowing wings. And the crown. It's beautiful. And you don't need a lot of background, guys, because usually what, what compensates is a lot of detail in your initial drawing. And also the framing of the piece takes over, so you don't really need any background because it would just like i think it would just yeah yeah the focus is it. all on on the concept of the skin and stuff yeah. like that so it'd be nice it'd be nice girl to see this Li Cheng mate yeah, yeah that'd be awesome this oh, next halloween. one perfectly captures halloween and smite oh it's so cute you have um <laughs> athena as wonder woman of course you have yep. apollo as green lantern uh-huh. uh you have i think cupid Cu- cupid cupid as the flash Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's not that's, Cupid as the Flash. Like, that's an Egyptian god. That's Mercury. It's Mercury? I think it's Mercury as Flash. I don't know. He's got like a little... Oh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mercury's as he Flash. He does, but he's got like a little snake up top. Yeah. Uh, You got Scylla as Supergirl. And you've got Zeus. Or wait. Yeah, Zeus is Aquaman Zeus. or Poseidon? Poseidon's blue. Poseidon is blue. Or, well, bluish. Either way, really cute. And Isis is like, uh, what? <laughs> Please me? get off my porch now. Get off that porch. <laughs> but Isis I like how, like, you actually lady. see, like, her house is, like, in the desert. Because she's Egyptian. Oh, yeah, I get it. So she's like, how'd you find me? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, hate you. I love that uh, Apollo's bucket is glowing. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I would love to see more of them. And this one is obviously top pick because it's cute and made us laugh and smile. And it's relative. And throw up Halloween. from how sweet it was. <laughs> oh, my God. So cute. Memories. Yep. Oh, this one. Okay. This made me laugh so this much. This one is by Matthias Defour. 
And this is cookie, Bakasura Cookie Sewer. Cookie Cookie. Cookie Cookie. Oh my god, I love it that his spikes and his teeth are made up of cookies. And he's like, it's like crumbs everywhere. Listen, if I ever played against this guy, it'd be like the sweetest death. I would accept it. <laughs> Just give me a bite of that I can't cookie. even fight you right now. No, I can't, I can't even. even I, I embraced it. it with open arms. Isn't this adorable? Yeah, chat, go nuts. Isn't this the <laughs> cutest thing you've ever seen? Cookie and like the offset eyes are perfect. Guys, we gotta get it going. Hashtag Cookie Sora. Cookie Sora. <laughs> cookie Sora skin. Hashtag do it. Let's go. Oh, man. Very I, I really cute. love this Mike community. I do, too, too guys. You guys are so funny. <laughs> going from something completely silly to something more sweet and delightful. Uh, this is a top pick mm -hmm. by Cena Holzman, and it's chibi-style uh, Nemesis, Artemis, and Nox. You know what? And those are all, like, really excellent costumes to do. I love how girly you made Artemis look. Like, yeah, you took off the tiara. Mm-hmm. And I like, do. It's a hard and to draw. got her Nox in there. I mean, look at look at her. She's all flowy. She's got those cool bags. I like it that with Nox, they gave her a top hat mm -hmm. style instead of like the big old thingy. I think that adds a nice little taste. Yeah, to it. you added your own personality. Yeah, more of a modern fit. day uh, style Nox. And Nemesis, you can actually see your eyes in this one. Yeah, you have to. That's true. Cute, googly eyes. That's probably why they did it. They want you to see her eyes. Oh well, yeah. What was that? Ooh. Wow. Oh, excuse me. I just make me yawn. I yawn so hard. Oh, are you yawning too? It's contagious. Um, but excellent job, Cena Holzman. Very cute. This is actually GB style that I adore very much. <laughs> I am okay with it. This next piece is by the great, the wonderful, the super talented Zenny Chang. Zenny. Zenny. Which she has killed it. She's been submitting art to us from the very beginning. Yeah, from the very beginning, and we adore her. And uh, this is a t-shirt design, obviously, for the design contest of Fenrir. Chat. The next god, how do you feel? Yeah, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this, chat? Tell how us. How do you feel about this this t-shirt design? Cause I think it's thing beautiful. It's hella cool. I was like, I was telling Kayla and Gavin, I do not condone a flames on any part of my clothing whatsoever, but I would wear this proudly. Yeah, it's 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 just it's the different. right kind of graphic. Flames. It's the right kind. It's of It's not like flames. the the curvy curly yeah. flames, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Oh, I hate like those. the Hot Wheels flames. Like the Ed Hardy flames. <laughs> Get out of here with your Ed Hardiness. <laughs> this is awesome. Stuff. It's very sharp. It's got a lot of cool texture yeah. in it. And um, Fenrir looks awesome. Oh, Raven Hackberry is all about it. Give, please. Right, guys? I would love to see, see this on a shirt. You, Personally, Thank my favorite supporting. of the uh, the design contest submissions. If anything, this should be made into a shirt anyways. Yeah, it should be made into a shirt By the way, anyways. you guys still have time to submit to the shirt. It's so gorgeous. Oh, hey, we're back. Is that it? Is that it? Well, that? let's take a look at the results for the favorite right, guys. pumpkin carving. It looks like Ducky Peas Hell pumpkin is going to win. Ducky Peas Hell. And then we got five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got five. Uh, Genevieve Bouchemin's Titans of Order. Which is Titan a very good pick. Uh, okay. Matthias Wentink's Emir. Mm -hmm. That's third. And then... Erica's, Erica's Smite Design. See, you're into me. Glad, uh, thank you, Reduction, for putting that up there. No, thank you. I'm sure Erica it. thanks you now, too. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Would have been a shame if we hadn't seen that one. And finally, the fifth one is by Patrick and Daniela's their Smite logo pumpkin. So congratulations to Yay, the top, top five. five. Yay, top five. Yay, good job. It's a good job, Close guys. All. Man, That's, we went through a lot of art. We did go through a lot of art. Through a lot of art. And Kayla, you have what? You have a uh, an announcement to make. I do, I do. Guys, this is my last Smite community art show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really, really sad. I'm just, I'm not going to have the time availability anymore to be able to be on the show weekly. But if you guys are still interested in seeing me stream, you can follow my personal channel, Kayla Sketch, on Twitch. And you can still tweet at me, like, all oh, your Smite stuff and, and stuff on Twitter. And I'm please don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> but I have loved going over all your guys' art and seeing the art community grow over the past, what is it? It's been over a year now, I think. So, so yeah, chat. Stop. I'm going to cry. Da, 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 da. Do you guys, <laughs> I'm, not going, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be doing smite art and stuff like that. So, but I just won't be able to be on the show anymore. So, still tweet at me. Still send me your art. I'll still give you feedback and all that good stuff. And if you want to see me stream and, and give me feedback and suggestions on my own art, you can follow channel on kale sketch other than that um i'm peacing out guys like i'm done i'm done i love you i love you all thank you no you no. no she's crying <laughs> sad boys oh. yeah don't be sad i'm still around <laughs> love you guys
Oh, Caleb! Oh, Caleb! <laughs> Why? No! 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 I quit. Hey I quit guys. too. I'm out. Hey. I'm out. Oh, God. So Kayla's gone. Guess, guess who's here? Guess who's here for the art show? <laughs> no! Guess? Oh, who? God. I miss her so much. Hi, for all of you who don't know who I am, I'm Hyrus Gavin. You see me in the chat all the time. But since Kayla can no longer take part in the show, I'll be temporarily filling in uh, until we find someone... Uh, that Anna can stand. <laughs> Look at that face. Ah, oh, priceless. Just, just priceless. But I, I'd like to actually announce uh, this week's art challenge because we haven't had an art challenge. In that you're forever. that you're a poop head. So you're announcing you're a poop head. Yeah. No. No. That's that's. Uh, oh, that's just that obvious. doesn't need to be done. Actually. Okay, cool. Yeah. So uh, the challenge for this week into going into next Thursday and next art show is going to be. Uh, goodbye, Kayla. Yep. So, do stuff like this. That was my little graphic for Kayla. Look, look how handsome Darling I am. Darling Kayla. Look at that. Yeah, well, you know. You see the tiny hand? Yeah. The little tiniest the tiny hand. Hands. It's accurate. I actually had to, it's like, accurate. maximize it full. Yeah. But, I've missed you. And we're going to miss Kayla. Right. So, show your missingness. Yeah. That's your next challenge, guys. Do A it. A little farewell to Kayla drawing. She will not be doing the show with us anymore, as, uh, as you heard. Anna, do you want to tell them where they can find us and close out the show? They can find us on the, uh, Twitch, I guess. Um, you can like go down and submit the little thingy, the <laughs> button that says "Art Show" the forum site, and then like just do that, I guess. And yeah, so I guess see ya. Also, follow us on Twitter at uh, Smite Art Show, <laughs> or uh, Anna Anna Miranda Buns, uh, Kayla. Kayla sketches or is it Hyra's Kayla still? I think it's Hyra's Kayla still. You can you can still tweet her out at that. And uh, you don't want to follow me, but uh, follow me at Hyra's Gavin, and you can send us art. Oh, and we have we have. Uh, is that Ymir? That's awesome. That's wonderful. So we have another painting for this week. Ymir is a penguin, guys. Ymir is a penguin. By Lori Kime. She's been doing these. It's a bird. Things. Yeah. Hold that while I put this back. Boo, Gavin sucks. Hashtag, this is the worst. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for joining us so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Halloween. Oh, my God. There's, like, I can feel the hate, like, actually coming off of her. It's really, really, really palpable. <sighs> okay. We'll see you all next week, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>